Hey guys, welcome. You are watching Technology Welfare Lads. Learn and watch with practical in this video tutorial how to get a latest iOS on your iPhone device without data loss. So here, in a case your iPhone doesn't recommend to you to get a latest iOS on your device, but however, you can update or you can get a latest iOS. So how do you do that? If I go for manually, check it out, tap on a setting. Now we will go in a general show, tap on a general, general to tap on software update. So it has started to check it out for update. Now see guys here, it's saying that up to date. So I will open a 3U tool here. We will connect with the help of data cable. So now it's a successfully connected. So here, as we see guys here, iOS, this version is a 349B last three digit of this version. iOS is a 16. I will go for a smart flash. A smart flash, we have a three options. One is a here, see, if you would like to go back, then we can here, see, we can go back on a 15 hours. But here, we will go, this version is working 349B. Yes, we have another opportunity to update. This is a 300, sorry, 556, sorry, here, see, 356 A version. So, what I will do, guys, here, we will start to download. If you have already downloaded from any official website in this condition, what you will do? Simply you have to import. So let's see here. Yeah. Import it. So see guys, I have already downloaded. So I will go. this one's so now see it has started to import here it has started to verify you can see how see one thing more I would like to tell you while you're doing or while you're updating this iOS you have to assure yourself by selections in this one you won't be able to lose any data and if an application on this selections because all the data will be returned on your device only one this iOS will be updated spontaneously one thing more I would like to tell you here second is a quick flash mode don't go with that otherwise you will lose your data third one anti-recovery it will take much time and fourth one Fix a flash means just only iOS can be repaired if it is damaged or in there also you will be able to lose your data. So now see successfully imported. So now what I will do just we will select these ones and we will go for flash it. Here it's saying that go for backup. If you are uh, selecting this one then don't go for backup. Yes, all the data will be remained. This one is a quick flash. There you can go for backup. And this one anti recovery flash. There you can go backup. And fix flash. There you can go for backup. Otherwise, of course, more probability that you will lose your data. <coughs> but here, by selections, this one's retain user data options. Don't go for blacks. And directly you can go for flash it here. Just go for know it. No, sorry, just you have to go for yes, it. Uh, so I will go for once again, this one. So let me select this one. Written user data already selected. Now you have to go for flash. Here you have to click on a yes. So now see here, it has started to have a latest iOS on your device. 
on this device especially so this is all about in this video tutorial guys furthermore any inquiry blindly you can raise the query below the comment box I will I will reply as soon as possible according to your query guys and if it is informative and acknowledgement then please don't forget like share and the subscribe to this channel because this is a thing that will inspire me to make more and more video to make more and more video on this channel guys so thank you thank you very much indeed have a great time guys